that go to the most remote parts of the world, but to mm -hmm. places in the world, wilderness areas, which are changing so quickly now because of the climate crisis. I take a photographer with me. I take a drone cameraman. I take a camera, mm -hmm. uh, also a camera operator with me. And we go there and I do these swims and then I take the footage and I take the message and then I take it to world leaders. And so my intention after the swim is then to go to the big climate change negotiations which take place in November in Glasgow, show them what I'm seeing. Uh, we, we need people to understand the speed uh, of the change which is occurring in the, in the Arctic and also the impact that it'll have on people all over the world. So I'm going to the fastest moving glacier in the world. It's called Ilulisat. It's on, west, on the west coast of Greenland. This uh, um, a glacier is moving at a speed of 30 meters a day. I'm going to swim right the way across the face of it, across the mouth of the Ilulisat glacier. Um, and uh, we expect the swim will take me around about 10 to 12 days to complete. And I notice every, every degree that I'm swimming in, I notice it. It brings me absolutely no joy that I'm able to swim in these places. I'm swimming across places which until recently were frozen over. I mean, swimming in the polar regions is a real privilege. It's such an incredibly beautiful place. And to swim next to ice is such a privilege. So when you swim next to an iceberg, the uh, two things happen. The first is the noise in the water. So you hear lots of little bubbles uh, being released. And that's from ancient air, which was trapped in the, in the iceberg you know, thousands and thousands of years ago. So it feels like you're swimming in Rice Krispies. The second thing is that you can be swimming in four degree water and then suddenly an iceberg comes past and that plummets all the way down to minus one, minus 1.7 very, very quickly. I've been swimming in the Arctic and the Antarctic now for the past 15 years. Down in Antarctica, it's amazing to swim with penguins. Up in the north, it's another game altogether. There you have polar bears, you have walruses, which have massive uh, tusks, you have bowhead whales. It's an amazing place. I always say to world leaders, no ice, no life. All these animals and ourselves, we rely on the ice for our survival. The ice keeps the planet cool and it allows us to live on planet Earth.